sent her to the States. She's actually in Harvard now. Nice. Yeah. You wouldn't even believe who her father is. Huh? Just try, guess. <laughs> okay, the governorship candidate of the opposition party, Honorable Phillips. They call him comrade, right? Hmm. Alicia, you're so amazing. And you have not changed, Wayne. Look at you. <laughs> anyway, down to business. I told you about the shadow campaign team that was forming mainly for you. So what we need is for you to talk to your uni um, students' union executives so that you know, they can come in hand with your staff. What is she? Well, well, well. What do we have here? Hmm? A mini political rally. I see comrades' total votes have been counted. Don't even be surprised if on election day, comrade chickens out and votes for the winning party. Excuse me? Who? Oh. Shut the toilet. <gasps> Who would have been so dumb enough to dump toxic waste down your breath? How dare you talk to me like that? You should have allowed me. You should have allowed me to no, buy no, 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 no. Who does she think she is? Proudly, Karen Ogomedia Pedro, the deputy governor's daughter. Just thank your stars. You know, if those filthy hands of yours would have touched his face, you would have spent the rest of your miserable life surging it. I am not a non-entity like you. And who is a non-entity? Fiona. <laughs> Carl. Go on. Spell your father's name. Just spell it. Let's see if it's one of those big political established names that holds this state together. Spell. Not even have you told. You know. Does any other maggot have any other thing to say? Hmm? I thought not. Dwayne, tell your father he's standing in front of a moving train. Really? 